Hi, in this video you will learn more about MSc Real Estate Economics and Investment Analysis. My name is Nico Sumillo and I'm the Program Director for this MSc. Before I tell you more about the program, let me introduce myself. I am the director of this program and I'm incredibly excited to be able to deliver it. I'm a real estate academic and I really love looking at the mechanics of the market, the economics and the finance of it. I got my PhD from the University of Cambridge and now I'm here at UCL. I'm the director of the Real Estate Institute. I'm also an academic visitor to the Bank of England and a research affiliate of the UCL Centre for Finance. So hopefully that gives you an idea of where my research interest lies. I'm really excited about looking at prices in real estate, how they formed, how financing real estate affects those prices and what we can learn from prices of real estate. The programme is based at the Bartlett. As you may be aware, the Bartlett is consistently ranked as one of the top built environment schools in the world. It's an incredible environment for studying built environments specifically because it's so diverse. It's also very inclusive. So it's great that you can speak to people who have very different perspectives on something that we all are interested in, the built environment. It's a vibrant research environment and it's great for learning. Great for learning not only from the academics but also from your peers who very often have very different backgrounds. And this is what makes the Bartlett a fantastic environment, a fantastic place to study real estate. The program is based in the School of Construction and Project Management. This is an incredible environment for somebody interested in construction and operating of built assets. It brings together people from management, construction, engineering, and obviously economics. And this gives us a, a unique perspective on the construction and management process of built assets. Obviously, this also gives us a very interesting point of view on how those, how those assets can be financed and invested in. More recently, we tend to focus also on climate change economics, a very important topic, and we are trying to make sure that we contribute to this amazing effort of tackling climate change. Within the School of Construction and Project Management, there is a Real Estate Institute. It's a new unit of the Bartlett. It was founded to bridge the gap between academia and practice within real estate. And this is, this is the part of the school that is interested in, in developing, operating and financing of both land and building. The idea is to try to understand where the current market is going and where academic thinking is going and bridge the gap between the two in order to make sure that we take full advantage of the synergies between the practice and the theory. This program focuses specifically on real estate investment. And this is because real estate is an incredibly important asset class. By some measures, it's actually the largest asset class in the world. It, it's receiving in increasing interest from investors who are increasingly diversifying from stocks and bonds and looking at real estate as an institutional level asset class. Real estate is also incredibly important because it's not as standardized as some other markets. On one hand, it's very local because it's driven by the very local economics of what drives the performance of an asset. But on the other hand, it's global because the value of an asset is driven by global trends and global phenomena. And this makes real estate an incredibly interesting field to study, but also an incredibly important field to study. In many cases, it's also very, very lucrative. Now, it gets even better because real estate is this incredibly traditional industry that is really asking to be revolutionized, that is really asking to be changed, that is really ripe for disruption. And this is why studying real estate investment, especially in the context of 
making in data-driven informed decisions is such an interesting proposition. And this is why we are offering you an opportunity to learn about how the market works, about the economics of the real estate market. And this will give you an, an ability to see where the returns come from, where the investment profits will be generated. You will only be able to make informed investment decisions if they are driven by a sound analysis. And that sound analysis has to be driven by data. In today's world, uh, it turns out that data is the best tool that allows you to make good, rational and sound investment decisions. And we want you not only to understand the theory of how to, to make those good investment decisions, but also give you the skills that will let you collect and analyze the right data in real estate. These skills are at the moment in very high demand. And this is because the real estate industry is transitioning from a very, very traditional uh, profession into something that is more and more driven by data, more and more driven by analysis of that data. Here at the School of Construction and Project Management, we are doing some incredibly interesting research in real estate finance and investment. Specifically, we focus on commercial real estate, banking and asset pricing. So we're trying to understand the intersection between values of properties and how they're financed, especially in the commercial real estate market. We also have some expertise in urban economics, looking at housing and environmental economics specifically. We also have some fantastic people looking at asset management, specifically asset management in healthcare environments and learning environments. And finally, because it is a school of construction and project management, we have fantastic experts in management of projects and in management of construction. And hopefully this gives you an idea of the profile of the school and the kind of research that we do and how it lets you learn about different aspects of what drives performance of real estate as an asset. Let me give you some examples of the fantastic research that is being done at the School of Construction and Project Management uh, specifically in the field of real estate. For example, Yolanda Barnes is looking at the future of real estate and how it's going to change after 2020. Specifically, she's looking at structural breaks, structural changes in the trends in the property market. And this research has recently been featured in the Financial Times. Another fantastic researcher here at the School of Construction and Project Management is Tani Milcheva. Her research is winning prizes all around the world. I'm just giving you two examples of her fantastic papers. One is about institutional investors and commercial real estate, and the second one is about housing and the spatial dependence of prices in the housing market. I would also like to mention uh, some of my own research, which has recently been published in the Harvard, Harvard Business Review. And this article is a very practical perspective on what managers can do in order to squeeze the most out of the real estate that they are using. Having seen all this, you may be thinking, why should I study real estate economics and investment analysis at the School of Construction and Project Management? Well, we're giving you an opportunity to come to a world-class university and a world-class place for studying build environment. And not only this, we give you an opportunity to study at a research unit that gives you a chance to learn from experts from different fields that all come together to analyze the performance of built assets. And this is an overlap of construction management and asset management. And finally, this is the first real estate program that focuses on analytical skills specifically. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how innovative and unique this offering is. We are very excited to be able to deliver this program and we are looking for people who are most of all passionate about real estate. We do expect our students to have a passion for this industry and to want to stay in this industry for the long term. 
we also want you to be comfortable with numbers. After all, it is a data-driven program. We are trying to teach you how to make decisions um, by looking at data. And it's great if you enjoy looking at data and if you already have a basic understanding of statistics. You also need to be interested in economics and investment. After all, this is an economics and investment program. And although it is applied to real estate, this is a program that is focusing very heavily on modern economics and modern finance. So if this sounds interesting to you, then we are very much looking forward to hearing from you.